Today, me and Teresa are heading to Loudoun Country Club here in Loudoun, New Hampshire. This course is a pretty challenging course, as you see there's really some nice views here. I'll be working on my impact drill, but I'll be playing from the back tees today, so I'll be working on it with uh, my driver and all through my bag. And Teresa will be continuing on with her setup routine, as well as focusing a little more on the chipping. It's not a beginner friendly course, so it's pretty challenging. Good chance you could lose a lot of balls on this course. Oh, nice bounce. <laughs> so be sure to bring a lot of balls if you come here. Today all you're using is 8-iron eight eight iron for these for these chips with nothing in front, fairway type. Chips. So today a big focus for Teresa is whenever we get a chip like this, any type of short game shot that she has fairway to work with, she's going to use an 8-iron. So after our first couple of chips, we uh, kind of left ourselves with a pretty long par putt here. And Teresa, nice putt there. And I'll go ahead and make this. So a nice, nice save here to, to get par on the first hole. This shot's actually looks pretty good off the tee. It's going to be a little short left. Teresa, really good shot here. One on the right side, just short of the green. Get up there. Keep going. Oh, that's awesome. This shot, you're you pretending that you're putting, right? Remember that? Yeah. The feeling of uh, whatever that feeling you had when we practiced yesterday. And yeah, aim your club face to where you want the ball to go. And then do your little putt. You'll notice over the course of this video, yeah. I'll be talking to a Teresa about her club face position. Yep. She has a habit of not knowing where it's aiming, so we're going to try to get her aiming more towards where she wants the ball to go to get her more in line. Uh, <laughs> so far I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. I'm a little tight from not warming up, but I feel like I'm making good contact with the ball. And Teresa seems to be having a good time. And she's making some pretty good shots here. And this hole got a little frustrating for me as this shot is going to head a little right. And I will end up not finding it, so we're going to end up playing Teresa's ball at this point. Yes, don't go left. Sit. Sit. I think it stopped just short. This was a decent shot. This sign uh, was heading again a little right, but it's going to appear to land on the green, but we end up not finding that one as well because of all the leaves. So we're using Teresa's ball again. Remember it's going to go higher, so make sure you swing enough to reach the green. I actually lost two balls yeah. on this hole, so if I was actually keeping my score and playing my own ball, this this hole pretty much would have ruined my round. And uh, I mean, It's pretty frustrating the fact that I, I haven't feel like I made a bad shot yet and these balls are just disappearing on me. So with the help of the scramble format and us being able to use Teresa's ball, uh, we ended up bogeying that hole, which uh, could have been worse. So we're off to a rocky start. Two bogeys in the first three holes. Get up. Nice job. And this par three, um, I'm actually on the green, but way back in back of the green, and we ended up using Trace a shot because it's about half the distance. Plus, we can work on some chipping. And we'll end up, again, just right next to the hole there, so we're going to par this. This shot right here is heading right towards the road, but it's going to end up a little short of the road, and Teresa kind of joins me. This puts us in a nice ball above our feet situation. Don't swing for a second, just stay right there, don't move. Your club face mm -hmm. is aiming okay. way left. You see that? that? all the time. Okay. All right. So when you're setting up, this is why I kind of tell you to aim your club face at your target first. I know. Come back here for a minute. Okay. So let's let's say for instance you're gonna aim right at the right at the pin. Mm -hmm. Do that. Aim your club. Pick a pick a leaf in front. Okay, so aim the club face at that leaf. Don't worry about your body. Just 
Aim the club face there first. Now, now you adjust your body accordingly. Now you notice when you look up now, it looks like you're going way right. Yeah, I don't You see what I mean? But I'm not. But you're okay. not. Your club face is now in place, okay? Okay. Keep rolling. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. But it's important to, right. to know where that's aiming. Yeah. Teresa, one of the best chips of the day from her right there, as she actually puts it up there about a foot away from the hole. Awesome shot. Oh, nice job. This drive was very well struck, but um, to the right hand side, if you see that bush down there, it kind of went over that. Teresa, nice, nice drive right down the middle there. Nice hit. Get up there. I know. Yeah, good shot. Over the water. Yeah. Oh, it's on the green. Oh, it's over the green. It's rolling back down onto the green. It's close to the green. Yeah, and this is another uh, green mist here. Well, we're going to go ahead and make another good good chip, another tap and par. Great chip. Yeah, so that was just a, a swing to the left. So you're trying to adjust for yeah. hitting to the right now. You're going to start coming over the top and making your swing worse. Okay. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Here's a little quick comparison of two of Teresa's swings today. The one on the left is from a hole a couple holes ago, and the one on the right is from the hole we just saw. You'll notice just in general we have a uh, difference in a setup position. On the left hand side, her shoulders were more in line uh, with the center of the fairway, or maybe even a little right, and you can see her left arm. And on the uh, right hand side, you don't see her left arm and her shoulders are aimed more left. But as we take a look at her swings on the downswing, a couple holes ago, this was her path. Her club was coming down. You can see her club head is going to be on that red impact line right there. Okay, and on the right hand side, you can see how far away that club is from that red impact line. Okay, this is all. Uh, uh, manipulation or compensation for the results she had two holes ago where she made it not a bad swing but the ball still ended up going to the right because the club face was open so now she's trying to compensate by pulling or chopping down and swinging more left to try to make the ball go straighter and this is how bad habits start so if you're a slicer of the ball uh, typically you're gonna want to swing more left to try to straighten it out but that just makes it worse so we're going to try to keep Teresa away from this bad habit and get her back on track here. And if you notice it's a blind shot, I had no idea how close that pin was. I probably could have reached the green if I wanted to. I just didn't remember, I didn't know it was there. Make sure you aim your face first in the right direction and then adjust your feet accordingly okay so yeah you want a little right of the pin okay so aim your face there first thing and then set your feet yep it is downhill though so watch your speed So what did I just say? <laughs> yeah, that's off the green. So we'll end up two putting this uh, for par. Good 
job. That sounded really nice. Uh, Therese is just trying too hard and kind of thinking too much right now. Pretty much her her thought process, the, like, the way I want her to go, is just to, you know, get in her routine, keep her head back, and just swing the club. And she does very well when she does that, when she starts thinking. Or if she has a bad shot, she starts compensating. That's when she gets into trouble. On this shot here, I had a very poor chip, and I'm just hitting a, just a second one just for, for practice. It doesn't count, but just to, uh, I was kind of annoyed at that first chip. And Teresa makes a great chip here. And she's going to be uh, yeah, very good. not too far away from the pin here. And we'll go ahead and make that for another par. So keep your head back and rip it. There you go. Oh, I saw sparks on that one. I really liked <laughs> Teresa's path there coming down. But her ball is continues to go it. to the right. And her yeah. big issue here is that on her way down, she's really getting her upper body ahead of the ball. Her head leans in, which, um, you know, creates her hands just... They don't have the, the ability to rotate in time huh. to square the club face. And also her club face at the top of her swing appears to be you know a little bit open. So when we get to the back nine, we'll try to make those adjustments to try to help her out. So you need to have you need to have an open club face. And you need that club face to feel like it's aiming a little right of the hole. So move your body around, set the club face and get comfortable. Yeah, and just make a swing. Make sure you hit the sand. Nice hit. Good up. Yeah, that was awesome out. Hey, you got it. That's awesome. You got it out. Thank you. Nice putt. Oh. Oh. Good job. Okay, so we just had a super challenging front nine. We got lost on the course. We played seven, what, six, then nine, then seven, then eight. Yeah, we played yeah, six, yeah, and then we went to hole nine, and then we figured out, obviously, hole nine brought us to the clubhouse, so we messed up somewhere, so right. we so. Headed, headed back and played seven and eight. Yep, so, And yeah, uh, we're now we're playing ten. Uh, struggling today, right? We are, but yeah. we stopped at the clubhouse, we got yeah. some hot chocolate, because, you know, chocolate makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shall see. And so hopefully we have a better back nine but no. again I'm having a really hard time getting off the tee box so today's one of those days that I greatly appreciate playing in scramble format because no. I'm just struggling most so. of my I, don't, I think let's let's take a look at our scorecard here so far fairways hit one <laughs> <laughs> so we, we hit one fairway on that front nine and we hit two greens so we still managed to play two over because of a uh, nice chipping display. but And your putting's been really good today. Yeah, putting's your been putting's good. So chipping and putting's been good, but geez, getting off the tee has been, been uh, yeah, super challenging. Been today, challenging. So. So, Hopefully the back nine goes a little bit better. Yeah, yeah uh, we'll play nine more, even though I'm dreading it, but we'll do it. <laughs> All right, good sport. <laughs> so a short par four here, about 270 yards. I could probably reach it with a driver, but my driver's not that accurate today. So I'm going to play safe and just hit the fairway there. And Teresa, not a bad shot. She's just going to go off um, a little to the right into all Here these is. leaves. This is what we have to deal with today. A lot of leaves. And I've been having a big time struggle trying to find my balls. And we actually found um, okay. Teresa's ball and one of the ball when we went in here. So I guess that's a win. I personally lost um, two <laughs> balls already. Yeah. So... Teresa, nice, nice swing there, right towards the green, and I'm gonna hit this um, just a little bit short, a little bit left to this position, where we're gonna work on our chipping again. So it's a good thing that we worked on chipping because we're gonna get a lot of practice today, and we're gonna go ahead and chip up and make this putt for another par.
what I'm explaining here to Teresa is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in an impact position where when she's impacting the ball, kind of basic position that she's going to be in, and I wanted her to take a look at the club face to see where it's pointing. And with her in a good impact position, her club face is aimed to the right. So I'm having her get into that impact position with a square club face. Get back in that impact feeling position. Hands forward. Yeah, and then see how you twist it in your hands? So that essentially makes your grip stronger. Remember we talked about? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Yeah, now, now your hands are more over. Okay. Look how straight that was. Oh, that was the best one off the today. Yeah, that was Yay. good. <laughs> one thing that I have noticed today that has made things difficult is nice. the yardages. This course is, wow, isn't well marked and the yardages I have found they don't seem to be right so I'm I'm off on most of my clubs one of these days we're gonna invest in a rangefinder so I feel like we're finally settling, settling down a little bit finally hitting some greens and getting some birdie putts here so we're gonna end up two putting this for par method or a good um, format to play for beginners in general? I think this is great for beginners in general because you can get a sense of being good. on the course without holding up the pace of play for other players. Um, you can learn the rules it. of the course, yeah, you can learn the etiquette of the course when you're going out and I think also it just helps to have, it helps me to have an overall better game because I'm not getting hung up on how I'm not getting hung up on my score. I'm focusing more on my good shots than I am on staying out of trouble. Yeah. Nice. After parring the last couple holes, this is a 169 yard par 3. I'm going to go ahead and use a 7 iron. And this ball actually hit it very well. Looks like it's going to land maybe a little short of the green or on the front of the green. Yeah, that's way too far. And Teresa, great shot here. Maybe she not. thinks it's on the green actually, but it's actually going to be rolling over Is the green. And it's going to be on the back. Nice shot. I hit the green here. <laughs> so as we get back there, I could not find my ball. I pretty much I thought it was right on the green. It's totally lost somewhere in those leaves. I lost my ball with a really good shot. So that's three three shots today I lost balls with that I shouldn't have. I mean this could be a this is a very frustrating thing when when you think you have a good shot and I'm wondering if my ball just landed and plugged somewhere or something. But uh, very frustrating. So we're going to go ahead and end up not getting up and down, so we'll end up bogeying this hole. Yeah, try to, try to use that rescue there. Yeah, you haven't hit that one yet, so just try it out. Yeah, it's in the fairway. <laughs> Is that far enough? I don't think it made it over, did it? No. This shot here, I'm not really sure how far I am from the green. It's just not well marked out here. Uh, I did hit it a little bit but up to chunky, yeah, right to but I ended up a um, so pretty good shoulder, distance shoulder. here away from the green. So a tough up and down. Nice shot. Look at that, it just doesn't want to stop. That was a good shot though. Yeah, but the ball is just, obviously the greens are rock hard. We'll end up two putting this and getting our second bogey in as many holes to go to four over on the day. 
There you go. Good job. Good, so ball forward in your stance towards your left foot or left shoulder. Head back and let it rip. Aim, actually, aim a little more left. You're aiming towards the right side right now, right there. There you go. Let it rip. Yeah, you hit off the toe. That's gone. Yeah. A little, just right of the leaf. Yeah, that's good. So aim right for that leaf, yeah. Nice contact. Yeah, so shoulder to shoulder, nice, nice job. There you go. This is an awesome pitch here to about five feet from the hole, six feet from the hole. Great shot. Nice job. From this location. Oh, that's going to work out good. And I went ahead and tried to match her, and I was just a little bit outside her. So as we get up to the green, you can kind of see our balls. And she's just a little bit closer. Great shot here. So we have actually a chance to get a birdie. Not many of these today. Too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that went far. Yeah. I saw it it. You killed it. <laughs> yeah. And we're unable to do it, so we'll end up hiring this hole. And I'm starting to drive the ball a little better. I'm starting to hit some fairways here on the back nine. So that's promising. You're, cho you're chopping down on it. Keep the head back. No, when you're chopping down, you're leaning in and driving down. So keep the head back and let the club pass you, okay? Do another practice swing. Hey, I'm trying to remind Teresa to keep her head back and let that club swing mm -hmm. as she continues to get in front of it a little bit. Nice as you can see, when she actually does that, her, her contact is so much better. Nice job. Uh, that's good. Chipping apart from there. Well, that's really good. That <laughs> looks close to the pin. Landed it pretty close to the hole, but these greens are pretty hard today. They're they're pretty tough to to kind of hold. This this landed close to the hole, but ended up rolling a good amount of distance away, as you can see here. That could be good. Turn. Hey, there you now. There you go. Wow, it's kept yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna lag this up pretty, pretty decent to about three feet well, for good. another par. So Teresa, I just added to her routine when she holds the club out. I'm having her hold the club out and turn the club, the nose of the club down. So she essentially strengthens her grip on that. Nice job. That feel good? Oh, that works so much <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice job. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> 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 yeah. Are you? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm close to the yeah, green. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> so, today was more of a survival day out here in the course, just trying to get through the round um, with as little damage as we could. 
I lost a few balls, Teresa lost a bunch of balls, but we ended up, you know, score wise, you know, doing that scramble. That was a good play. Didn't shooting do uh, four over here. But along the way, this is this could have been one of those rounds where, you know, a beginner golfer or just regular oh, golfer. Yeah, that one did turn. You know, playing can right, create a lot of bad habits and a lot of compensations just from what's going on. So I'm glad um I was able to work with Teresa and make sure that we kind of oh, nope. stay on path. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.